Today, I'm going to tell you about our recent visit to Nachi Kokum. I visited this beach club on a recent Virgin Voyages cruise. I'm going to tell you what it costs, what's included, and give you my thoughts if it's a good option for a cruise excursion. And I'll compare it to another popular Cozumel Beach Club, Mr. Sancho's. If that sounds interesting, please keep watching. Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are having a splendid day and if you're new to my channel, welcome. My husband and I were recently on a five night Scarlet Lady cruise and one of our stops was the beautiful island of Cozumel. We wanted to have a perfect beach day so we went to our standby, Mr. Sancho's. We have visited Mr. Sancho's many times in the past. But it was completely sold out. The day that we were in Cozumel, there were five cruise ships there. So we decided to go to Nachi Kokum. Our kids absolutely love Mr. Sancho, so that's why we kept going back there. But this trip, it was just me and my husband. I was very interested to see how we would like a different property. In this video, I'll tell you all about our experience at Nachi Kokum, and I'll also detail some differences between Mr. Sancho's and Nachi Kokum. So that being said, let's dive in. Nachi Kokum is about a 15 minute drive from the cruise port, and the fare for my husband and I each way was $20 total. Nachi Kokum's beach club package is $55 per adult, $39 for teens 12 to 15 and $19 for children 4 to 11. Little ones 3 and under are free. Your day pass includes a four course lunch and it also includes all your drinks both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So that's a pretty good deal and by the way the prices for Mr. Sancho's are very comparable. We arrived at the beach resort and we were immediately impressed by how clean and pretty it is. We were given wristbands and escorted to loungers under palm trees. By the time we arrived, all the palapas were taken. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If it's important to you to get one of these tiki hut type umbrellas, you should try to arrive as soon as the beach club opens. We didn't mind. There was plenty of shade under the palm trees and a staff member who accompanied us set up the loungers exactly where we wanted them. He also brought a table over and wiped everything down before we sat down. He then took our drink order and we each opted for our beer. We then took some time to admire the beach. The beach area of Nachi Kokum is gorgeous and it was pretty clear of seaweed. We saw workers cleaning the beach while we were there. They really tried to keep the beach in pristine condition. The water was beautiful and overall the beach is pretty perfect. Interestingly, we could see Mr. Sancho's down the beach. It's within walking distance. Nachi Kokum's big draw besides the beautiful beach is that it limits capacity to something like 130 guests, so it never feels crowded. And it did not feel crowded the day we were there, even though I believe it was near capacity. Once we had explored a bit, we went for a relaxing massage. If you are sailing to Cozumel, this is where you should get a massage because prices are so much cheaper than on cruise ships. The massages were great and I highly recommend. Then we were ready for a second cocktail. Servers are happy to get you drinks at your loungers, but I have a problem sitting still for a long time. It's part of my charm. So we headed to the bar. Guests are welcome to get their own drinks and Nachi has two bars. One is by the pool and one is on the beach. The beach bar became kind of our home base. I love meeting people and with five ships in port, I wanted to hear about their experiences, itineraries, etc. They have a couple tables at the bar and a couple hammock swings, which I took full advantage of. After a second cocktail, it was time for lunch. You can order lunch anywhere, at your palapa, at the bar, or at the restaurant. The restaurant is right next to the pool, and it was pretty empty the day we were there. Most people were eating at their beach loungers. The daily fee includes a four-course lunch. We opted to have ours at one of the tables at the bar. You get an appetizer, a super salad, an entree, and a dessert. And oh my gosh, the food was absolutely fantastic. We had chips and guac, nachos, enchiladas, and tacos. It was so good. And I think I would go back to Nachi Kokum for the food alone. After lunch, we took a dip in the ocean and then went to the pool. Nachi has a beautiful big pool with crystal clear water and there are loungers around it. And there is a pool bar. There is also a jacuzzi, which was nice. We splashed around and the swim was really refreshing. 
We also enjoyed watching the iguanas. We live in South Florida, so iguana spotting isn't that novel to us. But a lot of other guests were delighted to see them and took lots of pictures, so I did too. We had a really great day at Nachi. I did want to mention that they had nice restrooms that were conveniently located. The property is mostly non-smoking with dedicated out-of-the-way smoking areas, so you don't have to worry about people smoking around you. I was really impressed with Nachi Kokum, and I think it will be our go-to spot whenever we visit Cozumel. This really felt like an upscale resort. In my opinion, Mr. Sancho's is much better if you have kids. They have a floating water park and lots more bells and whistles and activities. Mr. Sancho's has a more lively vibe, while Nachi seemed more peaceful. They both have nice pools, gorgeous beaches, and good service, but I did think the food was much better at Nachi Kokum. The food at Mr. Sancho's is pretty good, but the food at Nachi was next level. I do want to point something out, though. Mr. Sancho's has all-you-can-eat food, so it's not just limited to lunch. You can order food as often as you like, and it's all included. At Nachi Kokum, you get a four-course lunch. Oh, I will say that the massage area is nicer at Mr. Sancho's, but my husband and I thoroughly enjoyed our massages at Nachi. Overall, both are solid choices. It just depends what you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'd also like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I do lots of different travel videos and it would absolutely delight me if you would join my traveling party. Have you ever been to Nachi Kokum? What about Mr. Sancho's? Leave me your thoughts below because I would love to hear all about your experiences. If you'd like to talk travel with me just a little bit longer, I will link to videos at the end that I think you might like. The video on the left is my best sanity saving tips for first time cruisers. And the video on the right is all about Isla Mirada, my top picks about this beautiful spot in the Florida Keys. Until next time, I hope you have happy and safe travels. I appreciate you and thank you so much for watching. Bye.